Aleš, hello. I would love to make you an espresso. Here we go. We came to learn all about the new Eagle One espresso machine from Victoria Arduino. William was using all machines from Simonelli Group for the past decade, so we thought he's the best person to give you a short review from the barista and cafe owner perspective. Can you remind me how long do you have the machine in the, in the training center? Do you remember? Probably been about six months. This video is not sponsored by Victoria Arduino, but both European Coffee Trip and Willem has a long partnership with the company. When I first saw it, it wasn't actually finished. Uh, it was at the Prague Coffee Festival and uh, we were, there was a bunch of us making coffees on it from different roasteries, and, which, which is great because the, the machines got put out into the field. We hammered them and we were making coffee for all the sort of thousands of people at the Prague Coffee Festival and uh, gave them a really good workout. But first impression, good, fine. I had a good time with the customer. The coffees were tasting good. I didn't feel stressed. Uh, in, and to be honest, I didn't even notice the machine. I was excited to use it. The Eagle One it didn't notice it, which it's a good sign because as much as marketing people want to make these things really special, they're a tool for a barista. They're not going to make a bad coffee good. They can't. And you're not going to make wonderful things on this machine if your grinder's not up to it. So it's a tool for me to give something delicious in a really nice, joyful, funny, nice environment. It's the experience that we're after and it's a tool to help me give that experience. And that's what it did. I knew it was cute and small and I knew that it was energy efficient so it starts up easily and things. But, but yeah, a couple of other features I didn't realize. I didn't realize actually how energy efficient, but it's so much more energy efficient than many, many other machines that I've been uh, using. I know one of the nice little features is this tray, the drainage tray where the hot water when it's leaving actually goes to preheat the water that's coming in to the machine. Brilliant. This is very amusing and is just gonna save me pressing a button so many times. Black Eagle, if you want to flush here between shots, you press once, then you press twice. If you're making 500 cups of coffee in a day, maybe less, 250 cups of coffee in a day, you're pressing this 250 times, 500 times. So 500 times to make 250 uh, coffees from here. This suddenly, I'm pressing this less. It's faster for me. It's better for the button. Brilliant. And it's, it's mildly amusing, but it does itself. This is stainless steel and this is stainless steel. One good thing for me is it's so much easier to clean. When I clean in here, this is stainless steel. It's, it's just a little rinse and a wipe and it's, it's done. This drip tray, very pretty. But the drip tray on the Black Eagle is much more practical. This is very pretty, but it seems to gather water, which is not good for even waterproof scales, really, because it has holes in it. Um, if I was using this in a coffee shop, there is another one available. I, even though this looks so beautiful, I would use the one that has the long, thin, rails, stripes. 
uh, that lets all the water through. Not as pretty, but it'll make you much faster and you won't have to be doing this all the time. Steam ones. This, is, this felt strange to start with. Because it's so different. The back eagle and uh, Aurelia I was a little bit more rough with, but uh, yeah, this I'm a little bit more delicate, but I'm, I've got used to it. I think it was just something I needed to get used to and it happened pretty quickly. One more thing about this thing. It's quite pretty. There's, uh, I'll probably get the name wrong. Oh, there's an espresso machine in the Simonelli Museum. I saw it in 2009. Every barista that walked in to the Simonelli um, little museum, they went, ah, that machine. And it was uh, probably a three group, small machine like this. I think it was called the Eureka. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, this, this kind of reminds me, the sides kind of reminds me of uh, that machine. And I like this design, I, it's, it's my design. It's not, this is a design that doesn't fit everywhere. It's specific. When we get, we had this and regular Aurelia in here. Some of the trainees that would come prefer the Aurelia some prefer this and there was definitely a split just like the design of a place that would have the black eagle in but this it fits in more places it's a much more uh, adaptable design now let's look a little deeper at the differences between eagle one and black eagle we'll discuss where would each espresso machine fit the best yeah, the Black Eagle is bigger. <laughs> if I was in a very busy coffee shop, I would use the Black Eagle simply because of the scales and the consistency that the scales are going to give me. Mythos, Black Eagle, a very, very calm time, especially if you're throwing in an automatic tamper like the puck press as well, gives me much more opportunity to calibrate that uh, coffee and communicate to the customers, whether it's with my eyes or able to talk. But for a small coffee shop, you've got to pay for the machine. If you've got a slower cafe, maybe it's, it's not too much trouble to put the scales up on the machine. Um, maybe you don't need two people working on the machine. Maybe it's one person and something, if there's often one person on the machine, the distance from here to here is kind of, as far as my feet go apart, it's not, it's not very difficult to operate. Yeah, so in a busy coffee shop, I would definitely be putting that in. And when I've got a little bit uh, more slow times, when there's one person on, I would have this. I would even be tempted to try with the single group, or maybe two single groups, which would make the flow very interesting. Yeah, I'd like to see somebody play around with that. And a one group machine with two porter filters and a good grinder um, is, is fast. Things I forget because it's become normal. Um, think things like timers on grinders. That was not normal when I started. That, that happened because home users and baristas would just cut into them and put their own timers on and then the manufacturers caught up. The same things I forget about espresso machines. It has an automatic cleaning function. So when you back flush the group heads, you can do it automatically. You can put it in and it'll sort itself out. You don't have to stand there and count for eight seconds and then your barista friend says, no, you have to do it for 10 seconds and then wait for 15 seconds. There's none of this stupid arguments. You just put it in and it go. And you can do one and make coffee on the other one.
brilliant. So you can clean it during the middle of the day or you can start closing it down. Both group heads can have different temperatures, just simple things like that. Um, I always forget because it's become so normal now with the machines that I use. If you want to learn more about Eagle One, check out Victoria Arduino's YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more from William Davies, we did many videos together in the past. Let us know in the comments if you should do more and what topics.